Have you ever felt like someone is just using you? It's a troubling thought, isn't it? Today we're exploring a vital topic, recognizing the signs that someone may be using you in a relationship. Understanding these signals is crucial for your emotional well-being and self-respect. It's all about safeguarding your personal happiness and ensuring genuine connections. So, if you've ever found yourself questioning the motives of someone close, you're in the right place. Let's dive into the first sign that might raise a red flag. Notice when they contact you. Is it only when they need a favor? It's a telling sign when someone's interaction with you primarily revolves around their needs and not the mutual sharing of experiences or support. Imagine this. Your phone remains silent for days, weeks, or even months until suddenly they need help moving or they're in a crisis and require your emotional support. Think about the last few times they reached out. Was it to ask how you were doing or did the conversation quickly pivot to their problems and requests? This pattern often leaves you feeling more like a service provider than a valued friend or partner. Moreover, if your attempts to initiate contact for a simple catch-up are met with cold responses, or worse, crickets, it's even more indicative of a one-sided relationship. Remember, relationships should be about give and take, not just take. If your phone only lights up with their name when they need something, you might want to reconsider the balance in your relationship. Do they know what's going on in your life? Or does the conversation always steer back to them? It's a question worth pondering if you're feeling sidelined in your own story. When someone is using you, their interest in your personal life often barely scratches the surface. Picture this, you're excited about a recent promotion at work or a project you've poured your heart into. You share this with them, expecting a cheer or at least a curious question. Instead, the response is lukewarm or worse, they pivot the conversation to their own achievements or troubles without skipping a beat. It's as if your news is merely a backdrop to their spotlight. This lack of genuine engagement isn't just disappointing, it's telling. A user typically has little room for the details of your life unless those details are immediately beneficial to them. They might nod along, but their eyes are scanning for exits from the conversation, eager to return to their own narratives. A relationship is a two-way street. If it feels one-sided, it might just be. Ever felt guilty for not doing something for them, even when it was inconvenient for you? This is a classic maneuver in the manipulator's playbook. They have a knack for pulling on your emotional strings, be it guilt, obligation, or sympathy, to get what they want. Imagine this. A friend calls sounding desperate asking to borrow money. You've lent money before and haven't been paid back, yet they lay on a thick layer of guilt, reminding you of that one time they helped you out. Suddenly you find yourself reaching for your wallet against your better judgment. Or consider another scenario, a partner who consistently needs help with tasks, always at the last minute. They know you have a busy schedule, but they play up their own desperation. They might say something like, if you really cared, you wouldn't hesitate. This kind of emotional leverage is designed to make you act out of obligation, not desire. Manipulation is not a foundation for any healthy relationship. Boundaries are essential. Does this person respect yours? When we talk about boundaries, we're referring to the invisible lines we draw around our lives that mark what we are comfortable with and what we are not. These can be emotional, physical, or even digital. A person who uses you might not just cross these lines, they might not even acknowledge their existence. Imagine you've set a clear boundary. You need some time to yourself after work to decompress. But there's this person who consistently calls you during that very hour, even after you've explained this is your downtime. Or picture this. You've told your friend that you're not comfortable lending money, yet they bring it up every time you meet, making you feel awkward and pressured. These aren't just minor oversights. They are clear signs that the person doesn't value your needs or your comfort. They show a lack of consideration that can be both draining and disrespectful. Respecting boundaries is key to respecting a person. Are you always the one making plans or reaching out first? This might be a subtle sign that the scales of your relationship are tipped unfavorably against you. Relationships are akin to a dance that requires both partners to participate actively. If only one person is moving and shaking, it's less of a dance and more of a solo performance. Imagine always being the one to send the first text or the endless planner of every date night. It's exhausting, isn't it? When someone consistently relies on you to take the initiative, it could indicate that they're comfortable letting you fuel the relationship while they just go along for the ride. Moreover, think about the emotional labor involved. 
Are you the primary source of support? Always lending an ear, giving advice or cheering up your partner, but finding that support isn't reciprocated when you need it? This imbalance not only drains your emotional reservoir, but also signals a lack of genuine investment from the other side. A one-sided effort is a sign of a one-sided relationship. Recognized any of these signs in someone around you? Reflecting on these warning signals is the first step toward understanding the dynamics of your relationships. Let's quickly recap the signs. Someone only reaching out when they need something, showing a lack of interest in your life, manipulating your emotions, disrespecting your boundaries, and putting unequal effort into the relationship. If you find these patterns familiar, it's important to address them, not just for the sake of your well-being, but also for the health of the relationship itself. Communication is key. Consider having an open, honest conversation with the person involved. Express how their actions make you feel without placing blame. It's not about confrontation, but about clarity and understanding. Setting firm boundaries is another crucial step. Clearly define what is acceptable and what is not in your interactions. This doesn't mean putting up walls, but rather teaching others how to treat you with respect. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, the dynamics may not change. In such cases, it might be necessary to reevaluate the relationship. Ask yourself, is this relationship serving my highest good? Remember, it's entirely acceptable to distance yourself from relationships that drain your energy and spirit. Finally, invest in relationships that are reciprocal, where there is a mutual interest in each other's happiness and well-being. These are the connections that will nourish and enrich your life. Remember, relationships should uplift you, not leave you depleted. Choose those who care as much about you as you do about them.